it is going to be very easy to tap into what makes you curious. And it would have started yesterday. We have that energy all day today, and we're going to have it through a lot of the day tomorrow. Why? My, I'll tell you. My name is Sarah, SRB Stars on all the things. If you'd like to learn how to work with me, pause to read here. I do have a lunar cycle circle that's happening next Saturday, both on Zoom and in person, and the cart for that closes on Friday. So, we have a Gemini moon in Libra season. Both are air signs. So if things get hard, turn to your breath, breathe, always. Um, I love a Gemini moon. So I'm sitting on our patio. It's our last day here um, in Myrtle Beach. And we are getting ready to go to the airport. And the one thing I always notice when there's a Gemini moon is that bird activity is super high. And there are so many birds just flying by. So if I look distracted, it's because I am. <laughs> so back to Gemini moon in Libra season. Gemini moon loves curiosity, loves to figure things out. And because it's in Libra season, collaboration can be a part of it. If you're a parent, um, new things, talking about new ideas, if you have a parent of littles and you shift out toys, today would be a really great day to do that because they're going to go, oh, I didn't remember I had this kind of idea. Tonight, my youngest is going to meet my oldest boyfriend for the first time, and he has a Gemini moon, so that should be fun. I imagine that Connor will be very talkative with my oldest boyfriend. It'll be super interesting. Um... It is great day for conversations and really into the tomorrow as well because she won't shift into cancer until after the work day is done for many of us. So what are you getting curious about? What is on your mind? What are you going to dive into? Gemini's moons doesn't always finish everything, but I guess that's what Virgo is for and that's going to be a couple moon signs later. So let me know how this helps.